LJ. Look at your father. LJ. Look over here. Why are you hitting mama? Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're on our way to church. We just got the kids in the car ready. LJ has been acting up. So if he cries randomly right now, then he's mad because we had him on, posted up with some blanket on, some ba'a, which is his bottle. He was watching Secret Life of the Pets too, and he was into it, and we took him away from his mode and now he's upset but he's he's okay right now yeah i think he's tired he hasn't been feeling good l'oreal and lj have been having like nose runs and you know like a little cough here and there but it's nothing that is too alarming yep we are on the way to church we are excited to praise and love jesus yes jesus so one update is that lj is no longer breastfeeding Oh yeah. Um, he's now on formula. It's a really, not a long story. It's just a emotional one. Um, LJ wasn't gaining the amount of weight that he was supposed to um, at the doctor's appointment. So then I had to. I'm pregnant and breastfeeding, and so that's just a lot on my body. And so it's not producing enough fat for like LJ to actually gain the amount of weight he needs. So he is currently on formula, so daddy's able to feed him. Mm -hmm. And I actually can like leave him with people. Yes, baby. Your tablet? Um, so I had to stop breastfeeding my little man. He's only 10 months old, so uh, Lavelle is actually able to feed him now, and I can leave him with people and not have to worry about being back to breastfeed because. I think that was always something. Mm. Whenever we like would leave him at his grandparents or I would go to the store, I'd always be like on a time crunch, worrying that like, okay, I need to go back home, I need to go back and pick him up and feed him. But now he is fully on formula and thank the Lord that he's been gaining weight. That was just like one big concern. And I already knew, understood why he wasn't gaining weight, but like the doctors wanted to say something different so um that's one thing i am currently 10 weeks pregnant 10 weeks and one day pregnant and i'm excited i'm actually able to like enjoy it now i feel like i haven't really like absorbed being pregnant and i think that's your mama it's gonna get like a little bit of like a emotional type of video because <laughs> Like, Bless you. I don't think I've been able to like enjoy this pregnancy because I've had like a miscarriage before. Before every single child that we have here, I've had a miscarriage. So like before L'Oreal had one, before LJ I had one as well. So like with this one, I've kind of like accepted like the same pattern or like thinking that it's going to be like the same pattern that, you know, that's gonna happen, you know. I'm not expecting it to be. Like, I'm not expecting this pregnancy like to last, and I know that's something like that's sad to be thinking about because, like, God gave us another one. Like, we were able to conceive another child, and I haven't really been thankful and like telling God that I'm excited and happy. I've honestly have been having like a lot of fear and like a lot of anxiety about it be 
because I don't want to get attached. And it's like with the other two, like we got attached and you like have this thing of you already love them. You already have a sense of, you know, oh, it's a boy, it's a girl, or you know, like a, it's like a feeling of a thoughts of love and like wanting to do things with the baby. And Yeah, so I, I truly feel that faith is, is something easy to obtain because we all have it with our own, what we have faith in, but... I believe that it's hard to deal with, if that makes sense. Um, hard to uh, maintain, I would say, you know, because you're just so used to things that, that happen to you. And if it's constant, then, you know, you get tested on your faith. The Lord really wants to test your faith and see where you are. And, um, you know, you, you have to learn to love where you're at. Okay, be content with where you're at. Every day in your life, just in faith and prayer and just hope and that's what god gives you you know what i mean when i was when I, when I wasn't with the lord it was just i didn't have any hope i didn't have any faith that things were going to get right um i kind of put it into my own hands and have my own faith in my own plans but um you know just stick it out yeah and that's just one thing like with this pregnancy that has been like really like emotional like i'm feeling pregnant i feel everything i'm nauseous i'm throwing up i'm you know my, I, like everything that you can think of about this pregnancy like I felt but it emotionally like in my head I'm like I don't I don't want to be hurt again and honestly like I need to be thankful and like repent for that because like the, no matter how long like the Lord gives me this child or like how long I'm able to hold the baby like I should be thankful it's a blessing, yeah. because it is a blessing and you know he put a life inside of me that's a part of both of us and I I shouldn't be worried and in fear or anxious or any of that because you know if this is what God wants in our life then I have to let him do that and I think that's just one been really hard for me like to actually like grasp that I'm pregnant again and 22 and you know like just like when you have a miscarriage it's, just, it's like something that I don't wish anyone to have to go through because it's hard it's like emotionally hard you feel like a failure even though it, you know it's not your fault you like you feel like lost and abandoned and you know like why you want to like say tell God like why God like why this why'd you do this to me and like the irony is that like when I had those last two miscarriages it was all both of them were on Mother's Day and and it was kind of like it hurt yeah so you know it's been it's all been um kind of a hiccup with the past pregnancies of uh Sarah's gone through I guess my perspective and point of view from it is a little different of course I'm not holding the baby but having having to comfort Sarah in any way I can is the difficult part because I know that I'm not the one that can fill that void um you know only Jesus can only God can I just can can be a a, a helper I guess you could say I can give her encouragement words I can, I can do the best I can I can still work, continue to work and continue to do the things I'm doing and um but as far as overall giving her what she needs to heal from it only time can do that you know what i mean i, I can't I, I wasn't able to do anything like that right yeah. um but we're on the way to church I, i'm so i get excited when i go to church because i'll always learn something he bites his nails and i bite my nails all through church as she says because <laughs> he's thinking he's i'm thinking yeah i think a, a lot in thought. i am deep in thought when i'm uh when I'm at church and it you know it's not a it's not a deep thought for for anything unnecessary it's like okay I need to do this better I need to do that better what am I doing wrong like my head goes crazy it's like a roller coaster in my head I need to fix that I know I do um because I just need to focus on God and his word but those of you who want to go to church I know I've talked about it in a long videos ago but reach out to somebody there's local churches everywhere reach out to someone um even myself included if you're if you're a subscriber or if you work with me or you know if you're around 
just take that step to go into a church and, and, and feel something. Okay, go in there open-minded, open-hearted, and just and just be there to experience something new. I guarantee you it's, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, you know, I was, I didn't go to church before I started going to church here. I went every now and then, but this, this experience is beyond, I mean, it's crazy. You don't have to put it in the comments if you want to go to the church. Just, you know, talk to me separately or anything like that, but it is so worth it. It is so worth it, not just for you, for your kids, for your generations, man. You know, we, we see people go through terrible things. I've been through terrible things when I was a kid, but I guarantee you this will change your generation's life. If you want to start something new this year, if you want to start something, you know, fresh and, and exhilarating and, 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 you know, loving, then go to church. Take that Try step God. to go to church. What's that? Try God. Try God. It, well, there's the billboards out here. You know, if you're in San Antonio, I don't know where else it is, but it says, thank God. I see that every time. It's like, thank God. And I'm like, I love seeing that, man. I wonder if people really think that, you know. But anyways, we're on our way to church. We're excited. We just wanted to do a quick update, okay. After church, we're going to go to the Super Bowl uh, with, with my in-laws, right. Um, that's going to be really fun. Get to talk to my dad. Yeah, shout out to the uh, Chiefs. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Alright, we love you guys. Mariah, can you say bye bye? Nah, she's into her tablet. She don't want to talk. <laughs> love you guys. Alright, bye.